Welcome to the Harvest Messianic Dance Academy. This is Advanced Dance Lesson 5, Part 1. In this lesson, we're going to be doing a dance called Hosanna. You're going to need to know a few things for this dance. The first of which is the time signature. The time signature for this dance is 4-4, four, four, and that's counted like 1, 2, 3, Four. In addition, you need to know how many parts there are. There are two parts to this dance. And the last thing you need to know is the steps. There's going to be four steps and their variations that you need to know. You need to know Yemenites, turns, chirks, and Mayams. Let's start with our Mayams. We're just going to do a right Mayam instead of a left Mayam. So for a right Mayam, I take my right foot over my left, bring my left foot to neutral, right behind left, and left foot to neutral. Let's do that again. And Mayam is five, six, seven, eight. Step right, left, right behind left. Good job. All right, let's move on to our Yemenites. Whenever we do Yemenites, we imagine that we're on a clock. We're the center of the clock. 12 is in front of us, 6 is behind us, 3 is to the right, and 9 is to the left. To start off our Yemenites, for a right Yemenite, you take your right foot step onto the 3, take your left foot step onto the 6, right foot to the center, and left foot comes to the center and pauses. For a left Yemenite, your left foot goes out to the 9, right foot goes back to 6, left foot comes back to center, and right foot pauses in the center. Good job. Let's do that all together. 5, 6, 7, 8. Step 3, 6, middle, pause. 9, 6, middle, pause. Good job. All right, let's move on to chirks. Uh, right chirk and left chirk, pretty basic. We take our right foot for our right chirk, step over our left, come back to center and pause. A left chirk, we take our left foot, cross over our right foot, return to center and pause. Now, on to our turns. You're going to need to know a double count turn and a four count turn for this um, particular dance. So let's start with our double count turn. A double count turn is a two point turn that you need to do in double time. Um, so it's two counts for each of the steps that you make. So if we're doing a back um, double count turn, I step onto my right foot and flip around onto my left foot and that's my turn. We just have to make sure that we pause for the correct amount of beats. So if we did it with a beat, it would be five, six, seven, eight, step one, two, three, four. And that's our double count turn. Now for our four point turn, four point turns are done in four beats and they're done with four steps. So if we're gonna do like a, let's say a back um, four count turn, I'm going to do a full turn so that I'm still facing the same direction when I'm done. I'm gonna turn over my right shoulder and I'm gonna step onto my right foot. I'm gonna flip onto my left foot and step onto my right and then my left. So it kind of just completes the turn as I go. Let's do that again. We're going to step onto our right, onto our left, back onto our right, and then our left. That gets our balance back to a very center space uh, so that you don't fall over. <laughs> Let's do it with a count. Five, six, seven, eight. Step one, two, three, four and that's your four count turn. That's all the steps you need to know, so let's move into part one. For part one, you're gonna begin by facing the person on your left or uh, clockwise. And you're going to mayam, a right mayam, for four counts. So you're gonna step right over left, left to center, right behind left, left to center. Then we're gonna do one right together, so we step right, left together, and then we're gonna do a right chirk. So we're gonna step right, left together, and then I'm gonna do a right chirk. Step forward onto my right, rock back onto my left. From here, I'm gonna do a four count turn or a four point turn backwards, and I should end facing the left or clockwise again. So I'm going to do my chirk and step back into my turn, right, left, right, left. I'm in a neutral position, facing the left or clockwise, and I'm going to step forward, right together, right together. I'm gonna to step right together, right together. And that will complete part one. Let's put that all together. So we're gonna begin with our Mayam, right over left, left to center, right behind left, left to center, one right together, chirk right, 
Turn back, right, left, right, left. Step together is right, together, right, together. Good job. Now let's go over hands. With my arms, our hands follow our feet. So when my right is over my left, my left hand is behind with my left foot and my right hand is over with my right foot. When I come to neutral, my hands are open. When my right foot goes behind, my right hand goes behind and my left, foot, left hand is with my left foot. And then I come back to neutral. When I do my step together, it's one hand, step together. And then I chirk, keep my hand up, turn back, one, two, three, four. Four, and then from here, I bring both hands up for my right together. Right, together, right, together. Let's put it all together for our last time through part one. Five, six, seven, eight. Step one, two, three, four. Five, six, chirk and turn. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job, that's all of part one. Let's move into part two. For part two, you're gonna begin by facing the center of the circle. You're going to notice that this part is very similar to Came to My Rescue part three. Um, and you'll begin to notice how there's parts and dances that are similar to other parts and other dances. So you start by facing the center of the circle. You're gonna go forward, right, left, right, left, and then you're gonna wave right and left, and then you're gonna go back out of the circle. Right, left, right, left, and then you're gonna wave right and left. So let's do that. We're gonna walk forward four, right, left, right, left. From here, my feet are going to do a double count balance and my hands are going to wave. So I'm gonna step onto my right for two counts and then move to my left foot for two counts. And then I'm gonna come back, right, left, right, left. I'm gonna wave again, double count balance, right, and left. From here, I'm gonna do a double count turn to the right, do a right Yemenite, then do a double count turn to the left, and a left Yemenite. So let's begin that. We're gonna do a double count turn to the right. So we're turning over our right shoulder. One, two, three, four. From here, I'm going to Yemenite into the center. Right, left, right, and pause. And then I'm going to do a double count turn to the left, Left shoulders turning out, and then I'm gonna do a left Yemenite. Left, right, left, pause. And that completes part two. Let's put that all together. Start from the very beginning, facing center. Walk right, left, right, left, wave, wave back, right, left, right, left, balance, balance. Do a double count turn to the right, and do a Yemenite. Three, six, middle, pause, double count, turn to the left. One, two, three, four, left Yemenite. Nine, six, middle, and pause. Good job. Now let's go over hands. When you go into the center of the circle, your hands raise when you wave. Your hands are waving in the direction that you're balancing. So you start by balancing to the right, and then you go to the left. As you come back down, your hands are up and slowly come downward. Again with the wave. Right wave is right hands, left wave is left hands. Our double count turn is one-handed, so we have our right hand up for our right double count turn, and our left hand is behind our back. And once we get here, our Yemenite is with our right hand because we're doing a right Yemenite, so it's right, left, middle. And then we switch hands for our left double count turn and step one, two, three, four. And then left Yemenite, our hands come down, and to the center. Perfect. Let's combine that all together. Five, six, seven, eight. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. All right, let's combine part one and part two so you get the feel. As we combine both parts, I'm going to let you know that we're transitioning to part two by putting my hands up for part two. But let's start with part one. We're going to be facing the left or clockwise, and we're gonna begin by miming. Five, six, seven, eight, miam. One, two, three, four, five, six, and chirk, turn back, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Part two in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've completed one and two of Hosanna. That's it, good job. Thank you for joining me today. If you would like to learn this dance to a song, click the link above for part two or find it in the description down below and you can practice this dance in its entirety to music. In addition, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get some really great messianic content. See you in part two.